I'm in the deepest part of denial and the most dangerous. I am soaring way high and diving way low, and I in no way believe that I could have a mental illness. I come to work one day, summer, hot, polyester sticking to my back, labels scratching my neck. I wear ankle socks, not pantyhose, like the rules say. Most of us cashiers ignore that rule. Me, I flout them all. Today, I am flying high, as opposed to last week when I could barely pull my feet to the till and slide my hands to the register. I skip down aisle four, past all the cans of sweetened condensed milk. You know the one with the brown and white cow on it? Start straightening the soy milk, putting them all their proper places, which is obviously different from where they are. Aaron, daytime manager, nice, really short, squat, mousy brown hair, taps me on the shoulder. You need to get to number seven. You should have been there over 20 minutes ago. She knows I'll be in serious trouble if I'm caught late one more time. I skip down the rest of the aisle, softly dusting all the tins of fruit juice with my fingertips. I am the best cashier the store has ever seen. They are so lucky to have me working here. That's what my head is telling me. Reality, I'm awful. I never say any of the Safeway stuff. I forget to scan things, but bag them anyway. I never say any of the Safeway stuff. I don't even ask them if they want car service. I think it's a stupid policy. What the hell does head office know anyway? I'm the one in the trenches. I see what the customer wants, paper or plastic. I can tell a paper or plastic one a mile away. <laughs> Hardly. I barely look them in the eye on bad, deep blue days. And manic shifts? Well. I land with a flourish at checkout seven, and it's express. I hate express. Too fast, too pushy. All the customers think they're so important. Hey, I am doing my job. I swing bags towards customers. Sean, our one, number one bag boy, races towards my till. Here, let me get that for you. He intercepts the bag before it hits little old Mrs. White. He bags for me until my shift is over, even when there is only one person in my line, and they only have a can of soup. He begs for me. No one trusts me today. <laughs>